White Psychology is, uh, actually used to be run by the Audubon Society. So people came up here, they camped uh, over the summer, they camped on weekends, there's bungalows on the site, there's nature programs here for the children. So we are here today painting the lower level and doing our little bit just to help them come back. We want to show as uh, realtors in the Ringwood area that we want to help the community and um, show our goodwill. One of the things that energizes us is the, is the support that we're getting from the community. That we have volunteers, not just scout groups, but people like Coldwell and various other outfits that have come and you know, want to put volunteer time in. It gives us energy to keep doing the work that we do. Uh, today our project, our CARES project, was in support of the Hoboken Shelter. Hoboken's a great little city, but like any urban area, there's always going to be a homeless problem. So what we did, we kept it simple, but we wanted it to be effective. So a bunch of agents got together, we, we gathered the food, we, we put together about 75 lunches for the folks at the shelter today. Uh, so today we were making bag lunches. As a parent, I would make a lunch for my son and then make an extra one for the shelter and so I thought that it was a great idea to make new bag lunches for the shelter to supplement what's being done already. So we, we want to be able to give back to people who need it. Um, we get a lot of support being in the community and being in the city and we want to be able to give back to the people who are part of us. Cobalt Banker Wyckoff has reached out to two different organizations in the community. One is the Center for Hope and Safety, which is uh, basically a battered woman's shelter. What we've done is we've collected purses and jewelry for the mothers so that the children can have Mother's Day presents to give to their mothers. The second group that we've reached out to was Baby Basics, which is affiliated with Children's Aid and Family Services. So we collected the basic needs for these parents who do not have the ability uh, to pay for themselves. Cobalt Banker is a very human, caring company. They're ethical, and it's important to give back because they've given us so much. Well, today what we, we have a uh, shredding event going on with the shredder outside waiting as our past clients and members of the community come and uh, drop off documents that need to be shredded. But we've still collected about 600 pounds of paper so far and um, people that are having their documents shredded are dropping off food for the Center for Food Action. So we're very excited to be able to help them out as well. Coldwell Banker has a legacy for giving back to the community and I think it's everyone's responsibility to participate in that event. We chose to do it locally um, because there is a great need in our area for uh, food items and we're hoping to fill the pantry a bit. Well, we're helping the Lighthouse Pregnancy Resource Center, okay, and they've asked us to gather items for the organization. So what we've gathered, they've asked us for clothing, diapers, 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 and more diapers, okay? We've acquired all the large essentials that cost mommies and daddies that can't afford them.
This is a very giving, caring office. Um, I've been here a little over a year and um, I am so impressed with the cohesiveness and the love that everyone has for each other and for others. And they're always reaching out. This was kind of close to the heart. One of the agents here in the office actually works with the organization. And it was just so important to, to help these mommies and daddies that really and truly do need some help. So the past month or so we've been collecting for the Wayne Animal Shelter various items as far as food, litter, toys, uh, cat beds, treats, and our mission was to donate and also let them know that we're going to be here. We did a lot of promotions um, with the newspaper to get other residents in the area to come out, hopefully adopt a pet today, to kind of piggyback off our Coldwell Banker campaigns about everybody needs a home. These animals some have been in here for years and they just really need homes loving homes new homes people are moving we're helping assisting in that and it really gives us great joy and pleasure to be putting people in the homes that they love and why not get a dog or a cat that they love For CBRB Cares Day today, we're doing a, like a bagged lunch for the for the needy. We have minestrone soup, and we're making turkey sandwiches, lettuce, tomato, things like that. So that way, they have something nice to eat, you know, give back to the community a little bit. Uh, well, I've been a realtor for uh, for 12 years here in Jersey City, and uh, this is a company-wide event that's really a fantastic team builder. Uh, so a lot of our newer colleagues get to meet some of the older colleagues and we work together in a totally different environment so it, it's really a great team. More experienced yeah, guys. Yeah, okay, more experienced guys. It's, uh, it's fabulous that we're able to give back to the community that has given so generously to us. Oh, it's, it's great. Um, we're, we're able to give back to the community um, and, and the best thing, the thing that makes it so rewarding is how appreciative they are and obviously right here in your own community is, is really what it's all about. Exciting news, uh, we're actually collecting uh, gently used clothing, um, stuffed animals, linens, towels, and uh, we're collecting for big brothers and big sisters. However, the uh, proceeds from the clothing uh, will be donated to Katie's house located in Newton. Katie's house started uh, for Katie herself by her parents and it's, an, it's a wonderful organization so that parents can have a place for their individual children to live. Um, and be taken care of when they're no longer in the picture. We've been uh, asking neighbors and I've dropped uh, big sheets of paper off at the bank, at the, at the hairdresser, everywhere, and everybody's been very gracious in donating anything that could help. Today's event is the Caldwell Banker Cares Day, and what it benefits in today's case is the Veterans Administration Hospital over in Lyons, New Jersey. And so they bring in plants, and we're working with the community to come in and support that effort. It's a year-round thing that they do, and we do it once a year with them to help get attention to their cause. Well, first of all, we're here because of the, uh, the great generosity of Codwell Bankers, who have been supportive of us for several years now. And the reason I'm here is for the very reason that Codwell Banker is here, and that is to support our military veterans uh, in their transitional phases coming home and for those who have been home.
as a coal banker agents in our community to be involved in, in the activities and help out a veterans group like this so that people in the town could also realize that we're not only out there just to try to sell their homes, but we're also people who care about our communities and involvement in our community. We're happy to be here today with the Police Athletic League of Howell and today we're making lunches for the homeless. And so we're making sandwiches and we're excited to help them out. Um, there's a lot of people that most people are not aware of that don't have shelter or have minimal shelter and these sandwiches and items that we're bringing them today is gonna to make a huge difference in their lives. The uh, Police Athletic League and how we provide 73 programs year round for all ages, about 16, 17 hours a day time we're going to go down and spread some cheer and that's what that's what Mark does, that's what Caldwell Banker does, that's what Powell does, so it's, it's exciting to work with people who do good things. Look, we're fortunate that we work with people who are buying homes and selling homes. We also know that there are a lot of people out there today who can't afford the homes and, and are living in dire situations, so it's just an effort for Coldwell Banker to give back to the community that gives to us and works with us. The people that can't afford to work with us, we want to extend ourselves just to let them know that we're, we're there for them too. This is something that we started for our Cold War Banker Cares Day four years ago. And every year we have the uh, uh, dog rescues that come in and because we are, our job is to find homes for people and also find homes for dogs. It gets bigger and bigger each year and our main focus is just to um, put some attention on the rescues and all the money that we collect goes directly to the rescues that participate. Everybody's on a volunteer basis and they pretty much need it. So this is just something else that we, that the agents do in order for them to uh, give back to the community and it's just a, a wonderful uh, opportunity for us to be able to do that.